to work with you on. Well, good morning. We were trying to figure out some, some behind the scenes stuff. Do we have any new faces? One million cups? Well, perfect. I will tell you about it. <laughs> you presented. So, One Million Cups was started by the Coffin Foundation in St. Louis, Kansas City, somewhere in the state of Missouri. Um, so, every morning, the reason it's One Million Cups is there are organizations, chapters, we call them chapters, uh, meeting across the country at this time, every Wednesday morning, everywhere. There's 160, you can see how much I truly know, really touched me. Over 160 chapters. So the idea is that there are entrepreneur, entrepreneurial groups meeting you know, nationwide right now, uh, helping each other out and uplifting them. So that's a little bit about the one million cups. I don't have the clicker. I'm gonna press the right arrow. So these are some of the organizers. We've still got some pictures in there, lol. We've been talking about this for a month now. <laughs> So you'll see some of these faces around your thing. You, no, this is a test to see if it'll work. Perfect, so here's are some of the sponsors and SMB is one of our sponsors and I'm only bringing attention to them because we're going to be giving away a golf towel, a frisbee, oh, a cutting board, and a lunchbox? A lunchbox? A lunchbox. We'll, we'll do a, Peggy will come up with something and toss it to people like it, like it's stadium. All right, so let's get to our Taylor Brown with Frequency Marketing. <laughs> hi. Um, hi, I'm Taylor from Frequency Marketing. Um, thanks for letting me get up here and run my mouth a little bit today. Um, uh, I've been here uh, twice now and love this, love that we offer this uh, and so appreciate uh, the organizers giving us the opportunity to do this and taking a chance on the new guy. Um, frequency marketing uh, started in January, um, so brand new, brand new, and uh, got into frequency through um, the creative uh, is what, what brought me into the marketing world. And so we have now been in existence for two months. When I say we, who is we? Well, all of you small business owners know that you use the word we to sound like a bigger deal than you are. Um, I do have one partner in, in video who's working with me, but it's kind of a one-man show. I've also spent the past 17 years of my career networking with a pretty vast array of creatives, of graphic designers, writers, uh, videographers, and so uh, do have a pretty vast network that I will be contracting out, and that's how we'll scale this thing at first. We'll be um, let me tell you a little bit about me, since I am frequency. Let me use this for the very first time. Yes. Um, here's my background. Uh, basically four buckets that I've spent my career in. The creative, um, for a little while I was a hipster in Knoxville, Tennessee, playing music in bars and gong shops, which meant I didn't eat. Um, and I started. And then I realized I need work. And so I moved to Joplin, Missouri and started working at Christen Youth or CIY, which is just down the road next to the college. And I put together events for students, which means I wrote scripts for things that happened on stages. I directed and produced films that would play at the events, came up with games that a thousand people could play, curriculum writing, was pretty immersed in creative and in ministry. Um, through most of my career. I took a little hiatus uh, from working full-time at CIY and dabbled in entrepreneurship and owned a, uh, a business that made films, made uh, film-based curriculum, primarily for churches. We were starting to make some documentaries and things like that as well, um, and, and we offered those online for people to, to purchase. Overall, though, the, the blanket word of my background is storytelling whether it's video or on stage or public speaking or whatever else, uh, I tell stories, that's what I enjoy doing. Um, perhaps you, to get a little personal here, perhaps you have had a time in your life where you would classify it as a traumatic event or a crisis. I did experience some, some pretty deep trauma about a year and a half ago, and, uh, and a lot of times trauma changes the course of your life. And I went through that, and went through a little season of wondering, what am I doing? What do I want to do next? And Joplin is a very good place because I had some really wonderful people around me during trauma that I don't know 
if I would have found any of the other cities. Um, something about Jop Joplin, people were like, we can help, uh, we'll bring you a crock pot meal, there's nothing else, and, and uh, people are just, just lovely here. So I had a friend who knew that I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do next, <clears throat> and uh, he, let's see, this works. He, uh, one day called me, as I was thinking through what I wanna do vocationally, and I could hear him chomping on fries. He had just gone through the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. And so through a mouthful of fries, he was like, hey man, I was just thinking about you. I said, thanks. And uh, he said, hey, um, I was wondering, have you ever thought about starting a marketing firm? I said, no. He, he said, really, why? I don't know, Brian, have you ever thought about being a farmer? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know why I haven't thought about this before. Um, those neurons in my brain haven't just fired in that pattern. And he, he said some really kind things that were, that were very affirming. I don't know if you've ever had someone speak into your life and say, hey, I think you could do that. And how that made you feel was pretty good. And um, so after some thought and um, some strategizing, launched Frequency. So Frequency, um, I pointed at the wall if that's where the thing is. <laughs> Uh, frequency marketing works with small to medium business owners to provide marketing strategy, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Uh, under that bucket, there are some of my weaknesses uh, that I'm going to get very vulnerable and ask for help in, which is a very odd public speaking engagement. Hey, stand up and tell everybody what you don't know. Um, marketing strategy, asset creation, which is where I, I feel more comfortable. That, that's where I've lived for the past two decades, is creation theory and ongoing implementation collaboration, which is what I think is a, a pretty unique offering for frequency. We will come, we will come alongside of you and actually do the heavy lift. Um, a lot of small to medium business owners, they appreciate the strategy, they appreciate all the assets, that's great, but I still don't have time to keep this going. We, we will actually come alongside you and keep it going and then learn what's not working and tweak um, and, and change strategy and put the energy towards that that small to medium business owners don't have the time or energy or ability or sometimes even desire to think about. So uh, that, that is kind of our, our often day. We do the heavy lifting that entrepreneurs and small business owners do not have the time or ability to execute. I've already explained that. Here's a, the next slide here is just a big, broad look at what we offer. Um, yes, video, photo, web design. Uh, I have a live event background and a pretty large network of people who know how to put on really sales live events, copywriting. And then, uh, and these last two here, the, the, they kind of embody the spirit of that ongoing collaboration. We will manage your social media, but do more than manage. We'll strategize, we'll make it look like you and your customers, um, not just what we think social media should look like, but actually what, what your brand should look like. And we'll do brand consulting. The, the heartbeat behind that phrase is an ongoing relationship. Who are you? What are you trying to accomplish? Um, let's get coffee and talk about your dreams for, for your future business. I'm working with one client right now who is an artist, has an art studio, but has massive dreams that have nothing to do with art or an art studio. So we're starting her art studio to help her audience start seeing her in a new light so that she can carry them with her to this new endeavor that's going to be really cool um, in the next two or three years. So let's keep the conversation going. This is the brand consultant. Um, here is where this gets fun for me. Um, limit limitations and obstacles. So oh, that got really weird. sorry. Algorithms, data tracking, tools for analysis. I got into this to be creative. Um, what I am going to be asking here in a second is uh, what I'm catch what I'm playing major catch up on is the data, the strategizing. How do I obtain data, read data, interpret data? How do I um, uh, work with a small business owner to see that data, that story that the data is telling, and turn them turn the direction of their marketing? What I don't want to be is hey, I made a pretty picture and it should work because it's pretty. And so we post it. I want to actually be in tune with with uh, the customer. Um, um, cracking the code of, of Google Ads and Facebook. Do you as a community, do you know resources that I should be looking into to grow in that area and to learn more? Uh, do you have tips, tricks, 
Mm -hmm. And then my, my other is commitment to small business owners of our value, right? That's what all of us, all of us are wanting clients and customers, right? But what I, the way I want to phrase that to you is what are you not hearing that you would want to hear as a small business owner? Like, I, I, I can do some of the marketing myself. Do I really want to make the jump and hire somebody else to do it? What, what are you looking for them to offer that you can't do on your own? That, that maybe I'm not thinking of. Um, and then maybe it won't be what I can do, and that's okay. Um, but what what is um, the need that you feel that I might not be in tune with? Um, and I think, I think that was eight minutes. I hope it was eight minutes. Um, and and that, that's pretty, pretty much us. So do I open it up for questions? Is that what I do, Doug? Well, first of all, big applause. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So uh, networking, uh, primarily, I uh, connected with, um, a friend connected me with a friend in Nashville, who that is his, that's his everything. That's kind of his marketing firm is focusing on SEO. So picking brains, talking to people, um, but I am looking for um, online courses or good books or anything like that. I'm, I'm looking for more, maybe more of the academic. Mm -hmm. But I have talked shop quite quite a bit. I don't know if uh, you know the college here offers classes for that or, or what. But I mean, yeah, it's like I know I have like just enough knowledge to understand, right? But right. I need to I need to up my skill level with that for sure. So, so I go ahead. I wouldn't swear to it, but I'm pretty sure that Google actually has some online mm -hmm. classes. Great. Great. Thanks, people, to spend money with Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little, little ancestral kind yeah. of education yeah. there. <laughs> Great presentation. Thank you. Is this on? Is now? Um, one trick that I've learned from stealing from spender or secrets or anything else, but Moz.com, M-O-Z, .com, is a search engine keywords for these free, you can get 10, 10 searches a month for free, you can also pay for it if you want to pay subscriptions, but it's great. Tons of resources, you can go in there, type in a keyword, it will give you about a thousand different words. Okay. That you can explore minimum, maximum, about you. Perfect. So, just one idea, but they also have a lot of Material resources on that website. So that's helpful too. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of noise. A lot of noise out there about this. If you do this, it works. Right. I'm like, well, if that's true, why don't we all just do that? Uh, so there's a lot of noise to cut through. So looking yeah. through the the, the other voices. Yeah. One here, then one here. Uh, so one of your questions was, what as a small business owner, what are you looking for out of a marketing firm? I would say original content is important. Uh, things that are attention getting, unique from others in the, the same similar industry. So that's why original content. You know, if I don't have to hire somebody to do the marketing in my yeah. business, that's the whole idea. Uh, just, just you know, partnering with somebody who. And, and yes, I think it needs to be trackable. I like to have you know statistics in front of me that say, hey, this is when your marketing plan started. This is your trajectory here on XYZ metric. 
here's the result after implementation. So I think that those things are what, you know, me specifically, I would look for out of the marketing approach. That's super helpful, thank you. Sure thing. Um, the, the original content, I think, is that excites me uh, because I think that's where it becomes a relationship and a collaboration. And I think that's where the value is. So there's something called Google Workspace, and it helps a lot. I don't know if you're familiar with it. Yes, thank you. So, uh, but yeah, it's got a lot of different information about things that can help. So yes. that's what I was just kind of feeding off his question. What I have not done is use, I haven't used Google Workspace to its full ability yet. I need email, so I got a Google <laughs> Workspace, but I, yeah. need to, I need to explore a whole lot more. Yeah, it used to be called G Suit. Yes. Yeah. Yep. All right. Thank you so much. Sorry. Somebody okay. sort of has a question. <laughs> I guess I was just looking for more information on what you meant by implementation in order to get a better idea of what you're talking about and what you're needing. I was just trying to get some clarification. Absolutely. So I worked with. <clears throat> And when I owned my business, uh, it was called Rough Train Studios. If you know these things, I had uh, a guy who was very helpful, uh, incredibly helpful. But it was essentially, here is your checklist, Taylor, to do this week for your marketing. And it was great. It was, I mean, it was like stuff I hadn't thought of, great strategy. Oh, that's so helpful. But all it did was increase my to-do list while I'm actually trying to produce a film uh, and write some stuff. Um, what I would want to offer, what I, what I am offering, is um, to actually do that to-do list for you. Um, here's what we're going to do with, with clear communication, right? Like, not just going rogue uh, on your social media accounts, but once we've agreed together, we like the strategy, I'm going to live in it. And I'm going to be posting different times of the day, I'm going to be making different kinds of content, and analyzing it, is this working, is this not working, and coming back to you with the problems and the solutions and saying, I'm living this for you. Um, so you can focus on all the other stuff that it takes around. So um, does that answer that, that yeah. question a little bit? Okay. So my question is, do you have any testimonials from others or from your own experience and how you can share with the small business owners that you're trying to reach about your solution? Fantastic question. Well, thank you for that. I do. I do. Uh, very informal. So I need to I need to gather those and put those together and make them presentable and get them in front of people. But uh, you're 100 percent right. That, that is that's the bread and butter is for people to know. Okay, someone else trusted you, so I need to gather them and make them official testimonials. Great presentation. Thank you. So, I was going to say maybe two questions, but maybe it's just one. So, I'm just curious because it is just you, even right. though it's a we, it's just you. Right. Uh, and we had talked earlier and you said that you had clients. So, are you, because it is just you, and obviously you're just two months in, um, I guess it is two things. One, are you actively searching? Um, and uh, how are you looking to the future of? It's just you, but I still right. want to grow. But because, and I'm just thinking because with your uh, marketing firm specifically, you know, there's a lot out there that will start that marketing process for a business owner and then teach them to have the tools and then sort of step off a little bit but do check-ins. Whereas yours is very much, I'm going to help manage, I'm going to basically do everything, which is fabulous. Um, but that also seconds. becomes more time, right. and those clients are, I guess long-term clients? Yes, it's a great question. Here's the first step of scaling would be, uh, I do feel very confident in my network of creatives that I that would be happy to work on a contract basis. So that would be the first step of scaling, and then next it would be hiring, mm -hmm. um, hiring full-time employees. But I, I think I can even get a few years of, hey, I'm hiring you on this hourly rate to be devoted to this client. You have these skills, right? Um, and I think you fit for this client. And I'm going to become a little bit of an account manager. Um, 
and a project manager, making sure their vision and your implementation is good. That that is my background is working with a big funnel of creatives and making sure the vision stays intact. Feel pretty confident in that. That and I think that could carry me for at least a few years. Of course, it, I, I don't want it to be just me longer than has to. Yeah. I'm just curious. Uh, yeah. um, you said you're specifically working or looking for small to medium businesses. Mm -hmm. What is that size? What What do you consider a small to medium? Great question. So I, I, everyone would define that differently, right? Like small, small as me, right? Like one guy is leading his thing. Uh, medium for me is where I put CIY. That's in, in my own metric there. That's they have 67 employees millions of dollars coming through, and, and that, I'm gonna put them in the medium category, even though they're, they're a nonprofit. But a, a large team to run, um, multiple products, big national customer base, but they're not, they're not Walmart. Mm -hmm. you know, they're not huge corporate either. That, that's kind of the range that, that I'm operating in. I, honestly though, I think my, my sweet spot is mom and pops and startups. Listen, implementation is. <laughs> is it a word? <laughs> so, if you're looking at targeting the smaller businesses, I'm not sure if this is normal part of the scope of these discussions. How are you keeping the price of that reasonable for us little people? So, yes. they're trying to just start out with just like you. 100%. So, glad you asked. Um, Here's my answer. Why don't you mind your own business? <laughs> no, no, no. I hope you're nice. Because I've decided this is our thing. Uh, no, it is a great question. Thank you. Um, so, one option is <laughs> one option is a gain share model. And this is risky for me. But I'm doing this with, with one of my clients. I gave my hourly rate. She said, I don't know if I can do that. Okay, let's lower your hourly rate. And we have, she has a couple products. I said, let's do a gain share. And this takes some transparency between us and some trust. But if I can increase sales on whatever we decided together, I will get a percentage of the increase. And, and that's a way that we can work with that. And so that all the risk really truly falls on me there. But it also is, but all the motivations on me. Uh, if I can get more sales for you, that's only more sales for you. And I want to get you more sales because I'm now sort of commissioning, sort of. So that's one way um, is, is to alleviate some of that upfront cost by getting a gain share. So, yeah. I'm doing it with a, another client who develops software. And we, we, we have some pre established trust. Um, but he has shown me, here's where we're at, we plateaued for the past two years. If you can get us up to this, if we take you on and you get us up to this, let's agree on a percentage. Let's do it. So that's one way. Yeah. Thank you for asking. It's a great question. You are very intelligent and wonderful. And kind. <laughs> 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 Market, you're coming. What's your deal? <laughs> I didn't know we were going to have so much entertainment today. Are you guys working together? That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh gosh. So you mentioned when you had your 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 crisis or your life changing moment, and now you're on this path. Have you discovered a business or personal development book that helped shepherd you through that? And if so, what is it and why? That's a great question, Doug. Here's the true answer is therapy. Uh, I'm a big, big, I will just go ahead and say this. I'm a huge proponent of therapy. Uh, go to counseling. Don't be ashamed of it, it is not taboo. My car needs its oil changed every two months. 
my mind needs to just be retooled every few months. Uh, go, but every few hours. Uh, so go go to therapy, go to counseling, please. I also am part of the group, a group therapy, and it's amazing. Uh, I love it. it. Those have become some of my best friends. So that that's my plug for therapy. That that's that answer. Um, this is marketing by Seth. Is it Godin or Godin? Does anybody know? Godin. Thank you. Um, was perfect for me. It's about marketing, but it was exactly what I needed in that time. Um, because honestly, some of my some of my grit was just gone a little bit from when I owned my last company. And this is marketing. is a great book to read because it's people first. And it's about telling their story. And his whole approach is, how about we get away from just advertising and yelling at people to buy our stuff, but get to know our clients and tell their stories and get them in just in front of the right people instead of thinking we need to get them in front of all people. And something about that made me go, oh, I could do that. I could work with people like that um, and hear their stories. And my client, who's the artist who's moving, she sat down, she's like, well, I have some dreams because I've been through some trauma. Like, oh, <laughs> let's talk about it. And, and uh, that's that's the kind of marketing I want to do, where I get to know somebody and tell their story. Don't know if I'm answering your question, but that that helped me. Yeah. Yeah. Often there's no idea Gosh, don't tell people to follow me. Uh, my personal social media stuff is all nonsense. Um, <laughs> so I do have I do have a background. In Improv, Siblings Improv was a group around here for several years, and I did improv comedy for them. And uh, I'm sorry, that I'm, I'm sorry that I brought it in to this secret space. Do you know if Seth Godin sends a daily email out? Um, yeah. Have you subscribed to not. that? It's really good. I would suggest it for you. He's great. You know, sometimes it's just a short couple of sentences. Sometimes it's a page, but mm -hmm. it's always um, pertinent to. Yes. You know, things that are going on. I ate up his book. It yeah. was good for multiple layers of me. It was good for me. I never thought a marketing book, a marketing book would be like that, but it's great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you. Hey, thank you. First, I want to thank Bree Watts with Elite Protégé Mentoring Company for being our video sponsor. We're going to call her video sponsor. She's the only one we could wrangle into shooting video for us. Give it off the take now. Thank you. Okay. Give away your stuff. All right. Who wants to win something? Austin can't win anything. <laughs> Until he takes his Arbus. <laughs> okay, this I'm giving away. The Arbus is for the
Just don't put it in the Thank you. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, do you need a new one? <laughs> Come see me when you need it. Okay, cutting board. Um, what? Let's see. Who? Um, I can't think of anything. Somebody help me. What's a good question? Who likes to cook? Who likes to cook? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast is going to be at the community center tomorrow 7 30 a.m bright and early for an hour um so definitely come to that we're going to have breakfast pizza and free market position is sponsoring that and then um if you want to get out in the rain that's coming on friday we are doing a groundbreaking so optic communications is bringing fiber to carl junction and their new central office is being built um, that will basically, all the fiber will plug into that will light up. And so we're gonna do something um, there. At this point, it was gonna be a groundbreaking, but now there's a full building already constructed in a week. So uh, so maybe we can go inside of that. But that's Friday at 10.30, right on Main Street and CJ. So those are, I think those are the two things. Perfect, thank you. <coughs> you got anything? I do. I'm Doug Hunt with the Joplin Area Chamber of Commerce, and what we've got coming up this week is Friday morning, we have uh, our morning brew, and it'll be at College View Manor, so they're sponsoring that, it's always a great time, starts at 7.30, great networking opportunity. Also, shout out to everybody that came to our Joplin Area Remote Workers inaugural event last night. As you know, we have been ranked number two in the nation for remote workers. And so we have put a call out for uh, people to have just a, an inaugural meeting. And we had, I think, 20, 22 people show up last night. So, and a lot of new faces, which was amazing. One gentleman, he and his family strategically moved here from Dallas because they did their research. So there's really something to that. And we expect that group to grow. If you want to follow us, or if you, if you are a remote worker or you know somebody, or you hear of somebody moving into the area, we definitely want to connect with them. So uh, have them reach out to me at the chamber or just go on Facebook and connect with uh, Joplin Area Remote Workers. The interesting thing about that, even though Joplin gets the name for number two, number one is Springfield, Missouri. So the way we need to look at this is all of Southwest Missouri is number one in the nation. So the fact that CJ is getting fiber a remote worker will be able to work there with no problem. And it's the same for the Osho and everywhere else. So that's what we've got going on and we appreciate everybody at the chamber. Is there anybody here from the Osho that would like to speak on behalf of the Osho's chamber? Well, you know what, we, we had one lady comes down there last week and it was fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, I know that uh, I think Lori has been talking about the expo yeah, for some time. Yeah, it's so I'll just put it up for quick. So, um, with Carl mm -hmm. Jensen Chamber, I'm doing a time management lunch and learn on March 13th. 16th. 16th. Uh, but anyway, you know, time management is a big deal for a lot of business owners because uh, one of three things, either they're just not motivated to get things done, they got plenty of time, uh, they've got too many distractions, or their list of things to do is just too long and they just don't have time to get them all done. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the causes of these things, what we can do about it, the solution. And we've also got two more <coughs> stuff to help you get that in place, but it's a great lunch and learn. It's my number one great lunch and learn. But you can register at the uh, Carl Jensen Chamber Facebook page. But uh, we'd love to have you. Thank you. 